Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to another uh, tutorial. Um, in this one, uh, we are going to talk about basic object selection. If you have already used it before uh, older versions of Blender, like 2.7, you probably know that to select an object, you use the the left, the right click of the mouse. After Blender 2.8 and in 2.9 we use by default the left click of the mouse if you are an old user and you are used to use the right click of the mouse you can always change that just go to edit preferences and under the key map tab you can always change it to the right so let's start this tutorial i have three objects over here on the scene and um, as probably already know to select an object uh, first make sure that you have the select box active over here by clicking there and then you just need to click with the left click or the right click if you have choose this way of the mouse in an object um, if you click on another object to select it it uh, deselects um, the old one you can see which object is selected is selected because uh, it gets that orange uh, color um, around it okay another thing uh, that i want you to know is that we can select multiple objects there are uh, lots of ways to do that um, the first that i want to show you is that you can click on any part of the screen and just drag this rectangle over here to get all the objects that you want to select in this case I will select all of three okay but I can do it again and select only two okay to this select you just need to click on an empty part of the, the 3d view and you get zero object selected Another way to do this is by using the shift key okay, and the left click of the mouse. That's quite easy. Uh, and again, you can deselect by clicking in any part of the screen. You have also a menu over here on the top that calls select and you can select all the objects. Okay you can select none and you can invert the selection if you have those two selected you can go here and invert or you can use the shortcut keys if you prefer a for select all let's do it a control uh, i'm sorry alt plus a to deselect alt plus a okay and control i to invert control plus I. Um, another way that you have to select the objects is by selecting a circle we have used the box by default this is one that I have showed you before but you can use a circle just like this you have to pass um, with the circle through the, the middle of, of the objects in this orange this orange indicates the, um, the center of, of the object the pivot point of the object and to select them you need to pass with them um, with the circle over there over there otherwise you it will, they will not be selected you can increase the the size of the of the, the circle by here okay now it's easy another way that you can do it is lasso tool that is very common to use in 2d software to select or to crop something okay that's quite easy actually um just another thing that i want you to know is that uh, if you select uh, multiple objects for example i will select these three okay 
uh, as you have probably noticed the last object that you select that you have selected has a brighter color uh, than the other ones okay this is this is indicates what is the active object okay this is not very important for now but i want you to know this because this is going to be very important later during these sets of tutorials uh, for transformation rigging etc etc okay and uh, one thing that I, I want you to know that is very important also is that uh, later when you learn to change the the parameters of of an object okay um, those settings are uh, only affect the active object for example if i want to add a modifier you don't need to know for now what is a modifier but uh, if i want to add a modifier that uh, like a subdivision surface for example a subdivision surface will uh, subdivide your mesh and smooth it a little bit okay um, as you can see it have only applied to the active object um, as i told you again um, this is very important you can change the active object by pressing the shift key and clicking on other object now the active object is the cube and not the sphere and you can deselect by pressing shift and left click again okay and um, that's it for for this tutorial uh, i think that is is easy you you should practice this just a little bit just for you to to understand how the, the tool work um, because this is going to be uh, very very used during this tutorial thanks a lot for watching um, i hope to see you soon in my next tutorial